we were at Mike Hannis's house. We were on a beach, and uh, we were doing this thing uh, that I found out now is pretty dangerous. I knew it was dangerous then because I wouldn't do it. And uh, you put the parasail, you spread it out on the on the back, uh, on like the uh, back grass on the back of Mike Hannis's porch that eventually turns to sand, then the lake starts. He's about 200 uh, feet out with a uh, um, strong rope and there has to be a person in the water because you've got to start running when the boat takes off. And you always have to turn to the right and you're in water that's over your waist. So uh, we had been doing this all day and for some reason Beefcake turned in instead of out, but everybody was getting aloft right away. So normally it wouldn't have mattered. And a girl named Tracy, Ed Barbara's girlfriend, um, put her saw that she was going to hit Beefcake, and so she put her knees up and tried, and bam, the knee hit Beefcake right here, smack in the face, in the front of his face, and boom, he just went down, straight underwater. And I ran out and um, and grabbed him, pulled his head out of the water. He had already breathed the water. It was like coming out of his mouth. And this red-haired guy then jumped and he helped me. And we pulled him onto the beach. And I sat and sat him up. And I looked at him and I said, beaver, beaver, beaver. And I was smacking him on the back, beaver, beaver. But finally kind of shakes his head a little. And water falls out of him, and he goes, "Ugh, ugh." I said, "What?" And I'll never forget. It sounded just like that. He went, "Ugh, ugh," and his jaw cracked all the way from under his nose, above his teeth. So his teeth, his top teeth, were on top of his bottom teeth, while his mouth was open. Oh, it, that's how bad it, it fractured him open. It was horrible. Absolutely.